Anushka Goyal and today we are going to discuss about the traffic control mini simulator trailer. Its order code is 52097. In this video, we are going to discuss about the both hardware and the software part and the working mode also. So this is the mini simulator traffic controller which is not the actual implementation of the real life traffic control system but it gives an idea of the process behind how it works, how it manages the traffic at four way intersection. So now I am going to tell you about the installation of the code in our Arduino. So this is the traffic control mini simulator trainer. The main component of this mini simulator control is the controller itself which means the Arduino Uno which will serve the purpose to handle all the switching LEDs and controlling their timings. Here we are using 12 LEDs at 4 way of intersection. This intersection is divided into 4 lanes as is shown here lane 1, lane 2, lane 3 and lane 4. At every lane we are using 3 LEDs which shows the standard color of traffic lights as you know red, yellow and green. So all these LEDs are connected with this Arduino digital input output pins. So it is a basic representation of the traffic controller and hence no other extra components we are used in this kit. So this is the information about all the components which we are used in this kit. Now I am going to tell you about the procedure of this kit, how it works and how it shows the working of the traffic lights at 4 way intersection. Now we will do the working on this kit. So firstly we have to install all the drivers. So we are provided a CD to you in which all the drivers are placed. So from where you can install all the drivers and the procedure of installing the drivers are mentioned step by step in the manual also. So you can take the reference from it. So after installing the drivers properly, you will have to open your device manager for checking whether it is detecting the USB port or not which is connected to your Arduino. So here you can see that this is the port section. So when I am disconnect the USB port from the Arduino, it is removed and when I am connected this USB port to the Arduino, it will be shown USB serial CS340. It is indicating that it detected properly. So after detecting it, you will have to open your Arduino and upload the code. So we will proceed with the new sketch. So I am erasing firstly the previous data. So I am erasing all this. Now we will copy the code from the manual. So this is the manual which is given to you along with this kit. So from here you can copy all this code and paste in the Arduino. So I copied it. Now I am pasting here. After pasting it we will upload this code. So it takes some times after that uploading will be done. So here you can see that our code is uploaded successfully. So after uploading the code successfully we will move on the kit and check whether it works properly or not. So there is a four way of intersection where vehicles can approach from all these four directions. So suppose vehicles are coming from these two opposite directions then the lights corresponding to their opposite will guide them. Meanwhile the lights in the adjacent direction will display red signaling those vehicles to stop until the opposing traffic clears. Once the intersection clears the red light switch to green signaling previously stopped vehicles to proceed further. Simultaneously, the light which were green switched to red, indicate those vehicles to stop. So this is the cyclic process ensure a smooth flow of traffic by controlling the signal's light. So you can also see in here the LEDs which shows the green color indicates the vehicle which passing on that lane can proceed and the LEDs which shows the red color indicates that the vehicle passing on the corresponding opposite lane will have to stop until the opposite traffic 
clears. So after some time, after some delay, these red LED will switch to green and green LED will switch to red. This delay is already mentioned in the code which is uploaded in the Arduino Uno. So this is the cyclic process will again and again happens and it ensures the smooth flow of control of traffic light systems. So this is the basic working principle of the traffic control mini simulator trainer. So that's all the demonstration from my side. If you have any query related to this kit, you can contact at Tesca Global website. You can find the link in the description box and for more information, you can go to the channel also. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.